Hey guys, Paul here with Patek. Uh, so, first things first, Happy New Year. Aside from COVID, I'm looking forward to great things in uh, 2021, and I hope you are too. And this video is actually uh, part two of a video I did uh, in 2020. It's actually the most popular video that I put out in 2020. It was about a software program called Multicam Capture. And I got so many questions, so many emails about um, you know, how does this work in multicam capture? How does that work? And, and, you know, can I record audio streams? Can I record multiple audio streams? So I thought uh, the smart thing to do is just come back and, and give you another look at the program. I did a lot of testing with this software this morning and I was able to determine that I can record my a7 III, my Sony a6000, my Nikon D3300 didn't give me the greatest results. Um, but it did work and my G85 I wasn't able to record I, I confirmed with Corel um, uh, that this the G85 the Panasonic G85 is simply not supported by the software um, so I guess when they do an update on the firmware or whatever that camera may be uh, supported in the future we'll see but um, you have to have a copy of Pinnacle uh, Ultimate 23 uh, to use multicam capture. So if you buy the software, like if you buy Ultimate 23, you'll get a light version of multicam capture. And that allows you to capture one screen or your screen capture in one camera, whether it's a webcam or a DSLR. Um, but if you wanna do three or more, then you have to have the full version. And so in total, I think I paid like $129 plus tax. It was like 150 bucks Canadian um, to get both softwares to get the full version of multicam capture and so far I've been pretty happy with it like I I use it from time to time um, it has its place in my video production arsenal um, but uh, that's what this video is going to be all about so let's uh, with no further ado let's just jump in and we'll give you guys a, a good look at it Okay, so let's get into this. Um, right now I'm talking to you on my A6000 and that is being pumped in through the Camlink 4K dongle, which is right here. You can see that on the overhead view. Um, and I wanna be clear about something first. This is not a high-end like a video switcher that you might see a professional studio using. This is just a small piece of software that's allowing you to capture multiple video feeds. So in this case, a Sony A6000, okay? through the Camlink 4K dongle or whatever capture card you choose to use. Um, just make sure the camera you're using is compatible because I tried D3300, my D3300, my G85, I spoke to Corel, they said it's not uh, compatible with this uh, software. But my Sony A6000 works, my Sony A7 III works, and so that's what we're looking at right now. So if we just switch over to the screen here, and I'll see if I can answer as many questions as you might have. So you select the A6000, you can tell the, it's getting an audio signal. And when you click on this one here, you'll see the orange box around it. And then you come over to the right hand side, you can see the video source is Camlink 4K, which is, that makes sense. Microphone is a Realtek audio in the laptop, 1080p. Uh, the encodec is AVC, uh, 50 hertz, and the latency is 240 milliseconds, okay? Uh, so now we switch over to the C920 webcam, which is giving you my top-down view, as you can see. And if we come over here, so the video signal is coming directly into the laptop. And the microphone is the HD webcam. So the audio you're listening to right now is probably pretty crap. <laughs> Sorry about that. 1080p, MJPEG, um, 60 hertz and 240. And then if we come up here, we've got the, the uh, lap, or sorry, the camera on the laptop and the sensor on that is is pretty small so you know I'd have to have another light on me to brighten that up a little bit um, and then if we come over to the screen here and the screen is it tells you the screen tells you what the monitor is full screen uh, 1080p and then the audio source is the Corel audio recorder but I've got it disabled uh, in the control panel so you know you're gonna have to think about um, how powerful your laptop is and how many feeds you need to capture. Now, normally what I would do, um, you know, for a proper professional YouTube video is I would just capture one feed. I'd set the A6000 and maybe run the audio signal through my Behringer 
depending on what I'm doing. But um, for the purpose of this demonstration, normally this laptop is on the other side of the uh, my office here, and, and uh, I'm using a different computer. But so now you can see that uh, this software for 129 bucks plus tax, um, it gives you some options for recording YouTube videos, uh, for sure. Okay, so in this section, what I want to do is just show you the net result of your recording with Multicam. And if I click on the folder that I've uh, collected all my files into, you can see there's an A6000, a C920, uh, the screen capture. And if we, you know, just double click on this guy here. Okay, so let's get so it's opening up as the typical, uh, you know, Windows Media Player uh, video. Same thing if I click on the C920. So the reason I'm doing this is to let you see that you're getting a separate uh, video file for each uh, input that you've set up. Okay, so apologies if that seemed a little bit uh, complicated, but I hope I brought some clarification to how multicam capture works, what it is. You know, you can capture multiple audio feeds, you can capture multiple video feeds. Um, they're basically exported into an MP4. And one other thing that I didn't mention is that you'll have the option in Multicam Capture um, if you want to take those files directly into Pinnacle uh, Studio Ultimate, like as a into the project, into a video project, uh, you're free to do that. I personally don't use uh, Studio Ultimate or uh, Pinnacle Ultimate 23 for my video production. I'm quite happy with Camtasia. Um, I've used Final Cut, like I've used, over the years I've used so many of these programs, ridiculous, Final Cut, Combustion, Adobe Premiere. Um, I find uh, Pinnacle Ultimate 23 is a little bit like the old Windows uh, programs, very memory uh, intensive. And, uh, but I haven't really spent a lot of time with it, so I'm not gonna a bad mouth it at this point. I mean, if it's of interest to you, give it a shot. But um, I find that the multicam capture definitely has some advantages for capturing multiple video uh, cameras. And uh, that's it for this one, folks. I hope you got some benefit out of this. I hope I cleared up some of the, the big questions. And uh, But by all means, if you have uh, emails or other questions or whatever, don't hesitate to connect in. And please hit the subscribe and like button. And we'll see you soon. Bye for now.